feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. Announce that Tafma has come up with a plan for two big events. That is the the Voice of Nagaland. The Voice of Nagaland is one of the major events that Tafma has planned to come to a a, a competition for music. It will it be open to all artists, be it bands, be it solo artists, duos, you know. Uh, groups, vocal groups, choirs, and all genres of music, English, Hindi, Nagamese, local dialects, it will be open. The uh, rules and regulations, how to do that, we will give more information. But the Voice of Nagaland is a Tafma initiative under the vision of Chief Minister. He wanted us to come up with a program that engages entire Nagaland, that highlights talents from each part of the state. Uh, the Chief Minister has been pushing us to come up with a program like that and we are thankful to him for giving us the vision and now we are announcing today that Tafma will be organizing the Voice of Nagara. Here the top prize is being sponsored by Toyota. They are giving away a Toyota car to the top prize and there will be several other prizes which we will announce in due course of time. Also Tafma had initiated before the Tafma Excellence Awards. The Tafma Excellence Awards recognizes the excellence that has been achieved by our musicians and our artists. There is a process of uh, applying for this award. We make it known through our digital platforms, through newspaper press releases, and anybody who's won national or international recognition in the said fields can apply for this award. The board that is set up by TAFMA, comprising of the PD and other members, goes through the documentation, the submissions, and they, they will announce a list of awards that will be given away. These awards will be given by the Chief Minister. And the top award here, again, is being sponsored by Toyota. They are giving another car for this excellence award. Toyota is also partnering with us for the Hornbill Music Festival. The Hornbill Music Festival is India's biggest music event. And it has propelled Nagaland as one of the capitals of music as far as India is concerned. In fact, Nagaland is seen as a center of music not just nationally but internationally also. Last year's Hornbill Music Festival had more than 10 million social media traction. In the past many years, we've had more than 1,50,000 footfall watching our shows. And we've had participants, performers, bands, musicians from over a dozen countries come and perform. Today, they are bands, top bands of the country, musicians from around the globe are seeking entry to come and perform at the Hornbill. And the Hornbill Music Festival has also emerged as one of the top events of more than three to four hundred events that we have during the Hornbill. And we feel that apart from the Hornbill Music Festival, the Hornbill as a whole is one of the most precious and valuable intellectual properties that Nagaland and the Naga people have. And the music festival has added so much value to that. Last year, uh, Toyota was a partner of that. They were the main sponsor, the primary sponsor. We're grateful to Toyota. They have continued to partner with us this year again. They will continue to be the primary sponsor this year. They are giving us sponsorship money. And they are also sponsoring two cars, as I said, for our other programs. A total valuation of approximately about rupees 50 lakhs is being sponsored by Toyota for our various music programs. We hope that this partnership will continue to grow. We hope that this partnership will continue to get strengthened because at the end of the day, the collective goal is to promote our youth, give opportunities to our artists. And in getting this help, we are able to achieve some of our goals and we hope that this will give a boost to our initiatives and we're very really grateful to Toyota. Toyota has been uh, one of the strong partners of Nagaland in the past, a corporate partner. They have been very appreciative of what we are doing. They have participated with us not only in music, but uh, Toyota is also giving capacity building exercises to Naga youth in uh, mechanical engineering in the service sector. They are taking up initiatives in uh, uh, green initiatives and you know ecological uh, you know, weather uh, issues. And they are continuing to have discussions with us how we can partner further with each other in other fields. So uh, we hope that. The way Toyota has come forward, this also sends a signal to other companies and other corporates who come and do business here, who come and partner with us and who have their presence, that they also come forward 
with such type of initiatives and support to our youth because a big company like Toyota India which is a part of the Kiloskar group coming and sponsoring events in this far off the corner of the country is a direct contribution to nation building. So we are grateful to them. This is an initiative that is definitely nation building and other companies, other corporate houses should also take a leave out of their example and hope that they come and partner with us. I am grateful also to my team in IDAN which uh, propelled this initiative, the discussions. Uh, we had several discussions with TAFMA. I myself had personal discussions with Toyota and their higher-ups and we could make this breakthrough and today we are very ha happy that uh, we are able to announce this partnership and uh, I'm grateful to TAFMA, I'm grateful to my team at IDAN and uh, through a joint collaborative initiative of IDAN and TAFMA, we are able to uh, announce this partnership to uh, the citizens of the state. I'd like to thank the state government and TAFMA for giving us a privilege to be the partnership with the <coughs> Hornbill Festival. Uh, with the achievement results of uh, last year, again, uh, Toyota really wants to participate this year again. Afma is going to have a two uh, award, that is one uh, uh, Voice of Nagaland and Excellency Award, for which uh, Toyota is also ready to provide a car for the winner. Toyota is really concerned. Toyota is uh, looking towards the northeast. Earlier, the Toyota has the only uh, plant at uh, Badari, and uh, we were finding difficulty to bring the cars to northeast. But now Toyota is focusing on northeast. It has come up the uh, Toyota um, stockyard at Guadi. We are getting the car in just two days. Also, now Toyota has come up with the parts <coughs> of your uh, Guwahati, where uh, we will be getting the parts in just one, two days. So, that's how Toyota is uh, looking towards the Nordis, and we are very proud and we are very thankful to the government and Tapma for giving us the privilege to be partner with the Hornbill Festival. The press and media has been, a, I would say, one of the strong pillars of the movement of youth in Nagaland, especially in music. In all the projects and initiatives and programs that we've undertaken, the media has been very supportive. You've given us positive coverage, your in-depth analysis, your guidance, and sometimes your views in your articles and news have been part of our ecosystem, and we're grateful to all my friends in the press. Tafma has had excellent partnerships and collaborations with a number of private companies, corporations, institutions, and even foreign governments. We have 21 partnerships with different institutions and corporate houses like Toyota, Parks, Dolby, JK Trust, Music Connect Asia, Tata Steel Foundation, Mahindra, Masterpiece Global, Instabil Veganti, Aspire Hospitality and several others. Right now we have ongoing partnerships with six embassies of foreign governments in India including Israel, America, United Kingdom, Latvia. Uh, Colombia and Israel. So these are some of the partnerships we have and we feel that the partnerships and the connects we have created have benefited our youth, our musicians and today musicians and artists from Nagaland have become the brand ambassadors of the Naga people and of the state. They are spreading positive stories, they are telling good things about Nagaland and their talents and their capabilities is creating an air of positivity for the whole state. These musicians, these artists and these uh, cultural ambassadors of Nagaland have become the new generation of ambassadors, Naga ambassadors. And they are pushing Naga soft power, they are pushing brand Nagaland and the world is getting to know Nagaland through their talents. Good things about Nagaland. So we are very proud of our artists, we will continue to work tirelessly for their benefit. Tafma has been at the forefront of these collaborations. As a government agency, as an uh, organization working under the state government, I must compliment TAFMA for using the new tools of networking. Networking is so key nowadays to achieve your goals and TAFMA has shown the way in Nagaland how to network with different organizations, government organizations, 
corporate houses, private institutions. We are also partnering with five festivals as sister festivals, not only in India, but also abroad. Our musicians went and performed at V Rocks in uh, Vladivostok. We are partnering with different festivals in Northeast, including Zero. We are partnering with a festival in Uttarakhand, that is Virasat. And we are also partnering with one of India's biggest cultural and music events, that is Sambat, that is under the Tata group of companies. All these partnerships, all these collaborations are providing platforms for our musicians. Also, these festivals, these events come and participate in our <coughs> events. It is a collaboration that, has, that is two-way, traffic is two-way. We go and participate there, they come and participate here. It contributes to appreciation of each other's culture, it contributes to appreciation of each other's capabilities, and most importantly, it connects different parts of the world, it connects different parts of the country to each other. National integration, appreciation of each other's culture across international boundaries, these are some of the achievements apart from just promoting musicians that we have achieved. Because culture, music, art doesn't know boundaries, it has no boundaries, it understands no language, and it transcends all hurdles. And we feel that our musicians are getting these opportunities. All Nagaland, all inclusive. Uh, many times there's been requests that, why only English? Why don't you include the local dialects, Nagamese, which our boys and girls are doing so well. So this includes everybody and, you know, uh, everything. Uh, so it, it really opens up the doors for everyone to participate across Nagaland. So it will be purely based on your talent, no matter what you say. So I think this is a very unique initiative, and we want to thank our wonderful sir, Sabu Mehta, for his advice. To be all inclusive, so we will be sort of announcing this very soon, all the details, how people can register. Excellence award, the uh, applications are open. The so Excellence Awards, we uh, gave uh, public uh, advertisement, we uh, put it on our digital platforms also, and all applications have come in. Uh, the board has uh, sat on it and the names will be announced very soon. But normally what we do is, since it's an awards night, the names are announced that night itself. And we are hoping that the Chief Minister will join us to give away these awards. Last year also it was CM, uh, yes, Chief sir. Minister who gave us awards. It was awards. the lockdown uh -huh. was a uh -huh. lot But this time we are sure. Right. Hopefully. <laughs> Toyota will be sponsoring which, uh, which car? This is the price. Uh, Toyota has agreed to sponsor two cars. Yeah. We've had discussions with them. Uh, we have not zeroed in on any car. So that is why I'm saying we are, they are sponsoring us for the Hornbill Festival and two vehicles which uh, uh, the company is trying to make available to us uh, due to uh, keeping the market train in mind. But the commitment to give two cars has been made. And like I said, we will be announcing that which particular car also uh, in the coming days yes. in, on our capital pages. Twitter, Facebook, so the will be laid down. It's now called X. Yeah. yeah. But we are very excited. Naga Idol has already, you know, like stopped and completely gone. Uh, can we look forward for this voice of Nagaland to be, you know, in future? How are you planning to take this forward? And is it going to be like annually? No, that's the plan. That's definitely the plan. Because you see, uh, any any brand, any new initiative has to be successful. It has to have a sustainable plan. We are happy that we are getting uh, sponsors this year to uh, take care of the prizes. But the logistical cost, the production cost is still borne by Tafma. The aim is to, whatever plan that we come up with should be sustainable and then it will grow from strength to strength. Uh, you were talking about previous events. Uh, maybe they didn't have a sustainable model or when they did not get enough corporate support or maybe it was ahead of its time because the Naga Idol was definitely a very fantastic event which we also participated in some way or the other. So that is the plan to have a sustainable model and if successful definitely it should be uh, annual definitely and it should be get bigger and bigger every year like how the Hornbill Music Festival is becoming bigger and bigger every year.